Hey, Coach Jeff here. I want to demonstrate a core activation stabilization circuit with the Great Click Band. Normally, I will use this with someone that has had back pain or is trying to manage back low back pain. Um, so, great exercise for that. It's nice because it keeps you upright, keeps your spine neutral, which is important when you're working on coming back from a back injury or managing low back pain. Okay, so remember it's 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 not about really how heavy the, of, of a band you use or how, how much tension you use. It's just two main things that you're able to keep your posture when you load with the band and that therefore it activates the core properly and then you get stronger that way. So we don't want to see postural deviations when uh, we do this ex or this circuit, okay? So I'm gonna recommend you do the circuit or a timing ex exercise for one minute or do 10 to 12 reps per exercise and per side and then complete one to two rounds, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate the circuit and this is with a gray cook band, okay? And I'll show you what that looks like. See it here, two handles, soft rubber here. Okay, so that purple band is the lightest band. It's perfect for core activation. All right, so the first one is the anterior chain or the front of the body stabilization exercise with a backward step or a step back. So I'm gonna do it here, I'll have the band coming over my shoulders, and then I'm stepping back. So let me grab the band. I want to do it from both angles. So the band anchors up high. You can see how it's angled back. Stabilize. The bands pull me back. My front of the abdominals, or the front of the body, is trying to do an anti-extension activation, and then all I'm going to do is step back. And I'm planting the ball of my foot like I'm pushing off while I'm walking. Okay, so I alternate my step back. And then I will demonstrate everything from that side next. Okay, so the next one is the posterior chain with a step forward. So it's like I'm walking forward and I have an anti-flexion activation. So this one, I'm holding the handles. I, I would prefer a lower anchor point. So the anchor's low this time. And now I'm just gonna take and perform like a row movement. Keep my shoulders neutral, nice tall posture. And it's activating the posterior chain here. So all my backside. And then I'm just gonna step forward and control it. Alternate sides. Okay, so that is the posterior chain with a step forward. Okay, the lateral, I'm gonna change the anchor real quick. So this one's gonna be about shoulder height. I'm just gonna bring this handles right to my sternum and it's a lateral chain core activation. So I'm feeling it on the sides of my body, obliques and the right hip on my right side here. And I'm just stepping. Notice I'm at, at, with all the moves, I'm trying not to change the posture of any part of my body, but the spine most importantly. Okay? All right, and the last one is a core activated march. I'm going to change the anchor one more time. You could do this all from one anchor point, and I would keep it at the shoulder height anchor point. So I'm going to activate. So I'm pulling down, staying tall, and then I'm marching in place. And you'll see this in the other view. 
And again, I don't want to lose spinal position when I lift my leg, okay? So I'm gonna switch anchor points and demonstrate everything again. Okay, and this is your anterior. So I got tension right over my shoulders and then I'm just gonna step forward. My feet actually look like that, okay? You can see that. So I'm just gonna step forward, just like I'm walking really, if you think of it that way, taking a step forward. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is the posterior. And you can simply do it this way. You don't have to change. And I'm stepping forward. Okay, so just the opposite of the previous. Next is lateral chain with a lateral step. So I'm stepping away from the anchor, which I didn't mention previously. So I'm here, I'm going to step. Okay, and then of course do the other side. And then finally the march. So typically I'm just going to face the anchor, activate, and then march. Take a break, reactivate. Okay, so that's your Great Cook Band Core Activation Circuit, um, Stabilization Circuit. Get after it.